The corona can be studied uh, from ground-based telescopes only when during eclipse. When our eclipse happens, we make use of it and try to test some of our ideas. Yes. Uh, we, uh, we have only two minutes to do the experiment and we have been preparing for maybe more than a year. Nothing can go wrong. Your camera cannot shut down, you can't press the wrong button and because there's no time to change your mind or make uh, alternate decisions. We are going to set up uh, the telescope and uh, observe the uh, total solar eclipse at four different wavelengths. And uh, the images taken in, those, in these four different wavelengths will be used to determine the temperature and flow speed of the corona. We are planning to take these images using a polarization camera, which will be a first for us. I think it's the first for the solar physics community. So once the moon completely covers the sun, the experiment begins. It's my job to make sure that the images in the field of view. So at the correct time, one person has to turn the, give the command to turn the filter wheel. And for each filter, there's a different exposure time. So another person has to ex enter the exposure time. Right it's a combined effort of six different hands. No one person can make any errors. Three, two, one. Eight, one, two. We do feel the pressure and also the excitement of the eclipse. It's still, we have to focus on our experiment. Hey, all done. It gives a tense feeling, but I believe we'll succeed.